I'm pretty sure most of your head's gonna be invisible for this episode. Who needs hair? What's up everybody, Chris Holowicki coming at you with a new Loot Crate unboxing video with special guests and half of her fucking head missing, Tank Girl! What up guys? <laughs> I'm really um, eager to see how this pans out when I cut this together because your hair is just way too, like, yeah. Yeah, I guess do do invisible head tricks for this. This will this will be this will be a fun episode. <laughs> Until next month, when you'll have different hair. <laughs> All right. Guess what the theme is this month for this loot crate? Uh, Chris doesn't know. Yeah, <laughs> you called it. <laughs> um, I do not know and. Uh, maybe they'll. We had something Spider Man last month. What's coming out this month? Valerian? Planet of the Apes? What are we gonna get? And this fucking guy. Oh, I forgot to introduce, introduce Butters. Hey, Butt! Uh, the worst. And now I will use the most dangerous item that Loot Crate has ever given me the sharp as fuck on all ends tin T2 whatever skull. Cut away from all cats. Oh man, I really dulled it out last month. Here, the corners are still... Fuck you. <laughs> what do we got? Alright. Is this a Bob's Burgers reference? I can't read backwards. Burger of the day. The loot great... Exclusive burger, five ninety five. For some reason, I think this is Bob's Burgers related. Are you a Bob's Burgers fan? I am not actually. You don't like it, or do you just not I, watch it? I've watched a handful of episodes. I just don't. I've watched. I've watched like the first season, and I actually like really like that show. I love uh, John H. John Benjamin, and I love Eugene Merman, Kristen Schaal. Excuse me. I love everybody on that show, but I haven't watched this in season one just because I don't watch network television. It's all on Netflix, though, I think. I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, there's something in this box about Bob's Burgers. <clears throat> so I don't have to edit this out right after I edit out vomiting into the into my, <laughs> into the, my loot crate. Into the box. Oh, God, I need a fucking drink. Let's start with this shirt that I'm looking at, and I see a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. What do we got? Um, this is pretty cool. You see this? No, I didn't. That's pretty cool. It's the turtles driving a turtle van in a very stylized shirt that hopefully this green is far away enough from blue so you can see it this time. Look at that. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty tubular, dude. I do like I, the, I dig uh, the shirt. this, like, darker hidden pattern. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The shell. Pretty nifty. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna be a 32-year-old motherfucker wearing an motherfucking Ninja Turtles shirt. Fuck it. Oh, and we were correct. I was correct. <laughs> Bob's Burgers item. What the fuck is it, though? Bob's Burgers Universe. The Bob's Burgers Burger Box. Um, Bob's Burgers, Bob's Burgers Burger Box. Book Universal Publishing. It's a book. It is a book. There's a book inside of this thing, but do I crack it open? I mean... Do I crack this open? It's all nice and sealed. I mean... Loot Crate covers Christmas. Every year. If I have to, like, get... my One of my siblings gives me something, I'm just be like, oh, Fuck. Um, hey, look. A, um, what was it? The Hunger Games button. 
or a hey look it's a it's a toy car from the show Supernatural. But maybe I wanna maybe I wanna keep this guy. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get to Loot Crate magazine and <laughs> um we're gonna you you just offended Butter so much. Um, you just traumatized that poor boy. Um, he's only ten. Are you showing the pussy my pussy? <laughs> um, alright. I'm gonna jump on... We'll see in the great magazine. I'm all dull disoriented now. All I'm gonna say is we were just talking about Ready Player One, and you still haven't cracked that book open, so if you want to keep that sealed, I that's, suggest you Exactly. Do. That's a good point. Loot Crate gave me a copy of Ready Player One a few years ago now, and I haven't even read page one of it. You've read it though, right? I've read it, and it's freaking awesome. Can't wait for the movie. Hope it's just cool. Yeah, we're gonna shoot a trailer reaction after this. After you watch this bitch, go and watch our trailer reaction. Anyway, um, what we got here is a Futurama-themed cozy that I'm very excited about. I wanna show my tattoo. <laughs> We've got the Slurm. <laughs> We've got the Futurama. The Slurm, uh drink uh, a beer cozy and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put on my beer right now well do you have any connection to Futurama are you a fan of Futurama hey girl a fan I have the Times beer code tattooed on my ass I could travel through is that right I mean you are a robot with most of your head missing oh, yeah. um, <laughs> you. You. <laughs> um but I'm yeah, open as for you. yes, open that for me. Oh look, another Bob's Burgers item. Good thing there is. We have um, the Eugene Merman's character as a button, and that's pretty neat. This is a good loot crate button. But in the tradition of all loot crate buttons, I'm gonna throw it at the camera. Oh, guess who gets to keep one? We are set. <laughs> Me and Tank Girl, here, bring it in. And cheers. Bing! That's a beer can noise. It smells like fresh plastic. Yeah, it mm. smells like chemicals. It's a factory. It's also blue, so you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here we go, guys. Here, yeah, I'll bring it in close. This is gonna be invisible. Goddamn blue screen. I gotta switch to green screen. But then if it was green screen, then we wouldn't see this logo. There's no winning. Um, here's Loot Crate Magazine. Maybe we can find out what this book's about. Are you actually gonna look and read in the magazine? I'm going to flip through it really quick. There's a first time for marketing, I guess, guys. Here's, this, here's the Ninja Turtle shirt. Here is, oh, here we go. There's proof that I'm reading a thing. Um, after over 20 years of absence, the 90s return to animation to prime time with The Simpsons, ending our long nightmare of only being able to watch cartoons while the sun was out. Years later, Fox would give us another family to love, The Belchers, one of the favorite parts of Bob Burgers. Oh, you forget about Family Guy. Family Guy doesn't exist. Um, one of our favorite parts about his burgers are the many burger of the day, excuse me, specials struggling through this. Spiced with delicious puns. Puns. That's why we couldn't resist including 25 hand selected recipes, including vegetarian options from the Bob's Burgers cookbook. Printed on, printed on sturdy, approximately 5x7 cards. They come in a box designated, designed, fuck me, fuck, Apparently he to read. look like the restaurant. All right, so it's a fucking cookbook, essentially. Get the fuck away from me, Loot Crate magazine. Another thing? I don't know what this is either. Oh, I think this is the item of the box. Warning, explicit content. Is this a Rick? Is this a Rick figurine? With antennas, Rick, Peace Among Worlds, Season 2, Episode 6. There's cats all over this fucking box. box. Yeah, um, it's, it does say 18+. plus. Why, though? 
Why? Is maybe it's because the little kids open this, but what's in it? I'm definitely keeping this. Oh. Inside this box, we got the Bob's Burgers guy. Uh, it's John Benjamin. Why am, why am I being confused on his name right now? I'm opening this motherfucker. Might be all the beers. Saying. You know what? This is actually one of the most sober episodes of Drunk Unboxing Cut, that we've start ever over. done. Cut, start <laughs> over. I don't know what you're talking about. I came straight from work. So. I I'm um I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty straight. If you guys watch previous episodes, I'm a fucking mess sometimes. Whoa. So beautiful. It's actually a very nice figure. Look at this, guys. Look at how uh, look at how neat this is. He just throwing the fingers up. I'm going to uh, go on the internet and watch what is this season two episode six and figure out what this is referencing. And I'm going to cherish this until the end of days. Or until, like, I just get rid of all this plastic shit that Luke Craig keeps dumping on me every month. But, um, this is one of the ones that... I'm a... I'm a... I, I'm gonna figure... I'm gonna hang on to this. That's the end of the box. What did you think of this one? I thought this, this one was fucking the shit. We got I mean, our slime I'm things. So Here, excited more about invisible this. stuff. Jeez. Boom! And, um... This makes my lady bits tingle. Yeah. <laughs> and you're all missing out on that amazing tattoo we were talking about. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll let him put a clip in it. Of it later. Oh my gosh. Maybe. That would be a treat for you. Congratulations. <laughs> you won. Well, anyway, um, thank you again. Who I keep calling you special guest, but you are a, a co-host, Pink Please. Girl. And even though... You knew that you're on a blue screen internet sh television show. You showed up here with blue all over your pretty dress and straight up blue screen colored hair. And blue eyebrows. I fucking hope that they are invisible too. Yeah, if you're in close, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I but didn't match the box this week though. You, month. This is the month. I think that's the first time it hasn't happened. Like nothing. No. Yeah, it's red it, and yellow. Except for the slurm. Is Wait! The it's red, black, and yellow, and look at me. This is a dawn of the new age. Chris is going to be color-coordinated with the boxes from now on. I quit. What? <laughs>